welcome back everyone. This tutorial in the series will be about adding safe zones. It is pretty easy and quick. I've compiled everything you need together and fixed all the errors in them. This will provide god mode for both players and vehicles in safe zone areas. It will stop backpack stealing and it can also stop looting from dead bodies and it won't allow a player to shoot. So as always, to get the files you need to visit the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this page here, and if you go on to the right bar here, there is a download zip. Go ahead and download that, and then we'll copy it to our desktop once it's downloaded. It's taking me a minute because it's got to spin, spin up my external drive. Okay, now we'll copy it to the desktop, and go ahead and extract that. So I now have the safe zones that we need right here. And what you're going to do is go into your server files. You'll need to go into your MP missions and then select the mission folder you're using. I'm using the 11 Chinaris map just for the tutorials. This will work on all of the other maps from what I understand. Now go ahead and open the safe zones folder that we extracted and then copy over the customs folder that is located inside of it. If you already have a customs folder, just go ahead and copy the contents of it. There's only two files in it that are needed. And then go back to our GitHub page here and find this area of it where it has the code block. You want to copy both of those and then open up the init SQL. Go down to the bottom of the init and all the way on the last line Go ahead and return a couple times and paste in the lines of code that we copied. Go ahead and save that and that actually completes the install. There's nothing extra that really needs to be done but there are a few configs you can modify if you really want to. The configurable settings are found in the safe zone commander near the top. So if we go back into our MP missions here and into the custom folder open up safe zone commander but you can see that there are script settings here that you can modify all you have to do is switch them between true and false and each of these comments explains what does what it's set up to, so that it can run right now without any modifications it'll work just fine but if there's a couple of things you may want to change that's up to you it's not really needed though and that pretty much wraps up the video if you find any issues with the scripts, please let me know. I believe I fixed all the bugs in them, so you shouldn't have any problems, but if you do, let me know and I will fix them up. You can check out my other two new videos below. It has been a while since I've been able to upload anything, so I'm trying to get as much uploaded as I can when I have the extra time. I'm finally done with school, so I have some more time to start getting these things out and working on more scripts. Um, remember to suggest videos that you want to see. If there's gameplay type stuff you would like me to do, let me know about that. I plan on doing some at some point with some friends and things like that because a tutorial channel can only get so many followers before it caps out. So I'm trying to diversify and add a few other things to it. I've got some plans once I get a video camera. That's not something I'm really going to go into right now though, so... That's just a few things to be looking forward to in the future. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you guys learned something and got something out of the script.